This is the Wikipedia page of Surgisphere. I have to say for Google YouTube, vaccines are safe and effective. Conspiracy theorists say that hydroxychloroquine would have been the cure for COVID along with ivermectin. But they're wrong. And this company, Surgisphere, is totally legit company. Surgisphere article talk language download PDF watch. Edit. Surgisphere is an American healthcare analytics company established in 2008 by Sap and Desai. Originally a textbook marketing company, it came under scrutiny in May 2020 after it provided large data sets of COVID-19 patients that were subsequently found to be unreliable. The questionable data were used in studies published in The Lancet and the New England Journal of Medicine in May 2020, suggesting that COVID-19 patients on hydroxychloroquine had a significantly higher risk of death. In light of these studies, the World Health Organization decided to temporarily halt global trials of the drug hydroxychloroquine to treat COVID-19. After the studies were retracted, the WHO trials were resumed and then discontinued shortly after. Surgisphere. Company type private industry. Healthcare analytics founded. 2008 1 Headquarters Palatine, Illinois, US 2 Key People. Sapin Desai, CEO and founder, number of employees 11. Website. Surgisphere.com, dead link contents. History edit. Surgisphere was established in 2008 wow, one by Sapin gone. Desai, then and a medical resident, to market too. medical textbooks to medical students. Fake five star reviews on Amazon from accounts impersonating actual physicians were found. Impersonating? Three. Desai became a vascular surgeon and worked at Northwest Community Hospital. Four, five, six. Surgisphere had three we subsidiaries. Check that hospital Surgical there. Outcomes Collaborative, Vascular Outcomes, and Quartz Clinical. Five. From 2010 to 2013, it published an online medical journal, the Journal of Surgical Radiology. Two, five. It ceased publication despite having claimed to accrue 50,000 subscribers because Desai ran out of time. 3. In June 2020, Desai's spokesperson said Surgisphere had 11 employees and had been compiling a global hospital records database since 2008. 7. In its promotional material and press releases, Surgisphere claimed to have a cloud-based healthcare data analytics platform and to be leveraging its global research network and advanced machine learning using decision tree analysis. 8. After the retractions of two studies in June 2020, company social media accounts were deleted. 9. And on the 15th of June 2020, the company website was taken offline. 10. COVID-19 Misconduct Edit Further information. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine during the COVID-19 pandemic section WHO trial diagnostic tool. Edit. Starting in March 2020, Surgisphere promoted a rapid diagnostic tool for COVID-19, which it said was in use by over 1,000 hospitals. 1-1-12. The right. African Federation for Emergency Medicine, AFEM, had promoted the COVID-19 severity scoring tool for use in 26 countries and some institutions had started validation studies. Yeah, that's On the, the 5th of June 2020, following sure. the scandal about the Lancet and NEJM articles, AFEM recommended that the tool no longer be used. 13. No way. Ivermectin preprint edit. In April 2020, Desai et al. published a paper based on purported Surgisphere data which suggested Ivermectin reduced COVID-19 mortality. 14. It was described as a retrospective matched control study of coronavirus patients using a real-time hospitalization database. It was published as a preprint but was retracted at the end of May. 1-5-16-17. Several Latin American government health organizations recommended ivermectin as a COVID-19 treatment based, in part, on this preprint. No, they These didn't. recommendations were later denounced by the Pan American Health they Organization. Used a real study. 1718. Lancet and NEJM articles edit. 
Surgisphere provided dubious data used for studies of COVID-19 that were published in The Lancet 19 and the New England Journal of Medicine NEJM in May 2020. What they mean by dubious is they mean total the fake The Lancet news. study claimed that the data set of hospital records showed that patients taking hydroxychloroquine were more likely to die in hospital and prompted the World Health Organization to halt global trials of the drug to treat COVID-19. 4, 14, 22. The, WHO the use NEJM fake study news. claimed that hospital data records showed that COVID-19 patients were not harmed no by way. treatment with ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. 2 WHO the, the data set from the alleged the 1,200 hospitals medicine, had many errors, including the listing of an Asian hospital as being news. in Australia, and no indications no of how Sergisphere could collect the data, and was widely criticized. 25, 26, 27, 4. As a result, on the 28th of May, over 200 researchers and doctors from various countries published an open letter to Richard Horton, editor in chief of The Lancet, regarding Mara et al., stating both the numbers of cases and deaths and the detailed data collection seem unlikely. 28 Science Magazine said critics had pointed out many red flags in the Lancet Say paper, including fake. the astonishing number of patients involved and details about their demographics and prescribed dosing that seem theorists. implausible. 1420, one of the signatories, Adrian Hernandez of the Duke Clinical Research Institute, said, the biggest thing that raised a red flag was that there was such a large database across more than 600 hospitals, and no one had really known about its existence. 2-9 Oh, he just didn't hear. On the 3rd of June 2020, theorists. the Lancet and the NEJM released online expressions of concern about the published studies, 3031, and on the 4th of June, the Lancet paper was retracted by Mara, Russia, no and Amit Patel, all authors except the side. That canceled hydroxychloroquine. In their working? retraction, the three wrote Surgisphere had not transferred the full data set, client contracts, and the they full ISO audit the report to their servers for analysis as such transfer would violate oh, client agreements and confidentiality requirements, preventing reviewers from conducting an independent and private peer review. The three authors said, We can never forget the responsibility we have as researchers to scrupulously ensure that we rely on data sources that adhere to our high standards. Based on this development, we can no longer vouch for the veracity of the primary data sources. Due to this unfortunate development, the authors request that the paper be retracted. Three of the authors on the 4th of June, asked to the have the paper retracted. The Lancet retracted the study, 33-34, as did the NEJM. I wonder why they signed on in the first place. 16, 36. In the meantime, on the 3rd of June, the WHO resumed its Bill hydroxychloroquine drug trials. 3-7. On the 6th of June 2020, NHS Scotland told the Financial Times that they had no current or past contractual arrangement with Surgisphere, nor was the company an approved supplier, nor had it ever had access to data, despite Surgisphere stating it had collaborated with the NHS. Wow, Surgisphere's Surgisphere website lied? had a picture of Queen Elizabeth University no Hospital, an NHS hospital in Glasgow. 3-8. On the 7th of June 2020, fellow author Amit Patel's position with the University of Utah was terminated over the journal retractions. Patel is Desai's brother-in-law. 3-9. Richard Horton, editor-in-chief of The Lancet, called the paper a, a fabrication and a monumental fraud. Eric Rubin, editor-in-chief of NEJM, said, we shouldn't have published this. 4-0. No. General Legitimacy Edit. A July 2020 article in New York Times described an employee extracting data manually to create a spreadsheet for Surgisphere's Quartz Clinical. She was surprised by claims of a massive data store, stating she knew of only a single hospital that had signed a contract with the company. The May 1st paper in NEJM claimed to use data from 169 hospitals across the globe, and the May 22nd paper wow. in The Lancet. Four That's one. a big study. A parallel investigation by the British newspaper The Guardian revealed that several of Surgisphere's employees had little or no scientific background. No. One employee appeared to be a science fiction author while scientists. another, listed as a marketing executive, was an adult model. 
a porn star? The Guardian also found that Sergio Spears' LinkedIn page has fewer than 100 followers and in late May 2020 listed only six employees. What? It also... A parallel investigation by the British newspaper The Guardian revealed that several of Sergio Spears' employees had little or no scientific background. One employee appeared to be a science fiction author while another, no. listed as a marketing executive, science is an adult author. model. The Guardian also found that Sergio Spears' LinkedIn page has fewer than 100 followers and in late May 2020 listed only six employees. It also found that the company had almost no online presence and that its Twitter account had made no posts from October 2017 to March 2020. I heard 2020. that they have three employees now. 2-0. Elizabeth Vick et al. Analyzed one of Desai's early first author papers and found apparent evidence of image manipulation. No 4 way. 2 43. References edit. Sergio Spear Corp. Bloomberg. Retrieved the 11th of June 2020. Offered. Catherine, the 30th of May 2020. Disputed hydroxychloroquine study brings scrutiny to Sergio Spear. The scientist. Archived from the original on the 3rd of June 2020. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. Catherine offered the 30th of May 2020. Disputed hydroxychloroquine study brings... Wow, if that hydroxychloroquine would have worked, they wouldn't have got the EUA. And without the EUA, Pfizer Pharmaceutical wouldn't have made $100 billion. Wow. I hope this company doesn't turn out to be fake. Disputed hydroxychloroquine study brings scrutiny to Sergio Spear. The Scientist magazine, retrieved the 8th of June 2020. Davy, Melissa, the 28th of May. I'm sure all of these scientists and doctors in New England Journal of Medicine Lancet are all just conspiracy theorists. I'm sure that this Sergio Spear and this guy are totally legit. They must be making a mistake. Davy. Melissa, the 28th of May 2020. Questions raised over hydroxychloroquine study which caused WHO to halt trials for COVID-19. Guardian, retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. Todaro, James, the 29th of May 2020. A study... What these conspiracy theorists are speculating is that the studies on hydroxychloroquine were canceled because of this company being fake and all of its data fake. That would be crazy. A study out of thin air. Medicine uncensored. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. Dr. Desai appears to be the founder of Surgisphere, which was formed in 2007. A PubMed search for Sapin Desai shows 39 medical publications in the last five years. With the exception of the two very recent COVID-19 papers, the Sergio Spear database does not appear to have been used in any of the other 37 publications. Why would the founder of Sergio Spear have access to one of the largest repositories of real-time patient data, but not use it until publishing on COVID-19? If we ignore the image of multiple shell corporations enshrouding a hastily organized Sergio Spear Corporation and stick to analyzing the COVID-19 data from the Lancet, with the exception of the two Multiple very recent COVID-19 papers, the Sergio Spear database does not appear to have been used in any of the other 37 publications. Why would the founder of Sergio Spear have access to one of the largest repositories of real-time patient data, but not use it until publishing on COVID-19? If we ignore the image of multiple shell corporations enshrouding a hastily organized Sergio Spear Corporation and stick to analyzing the COVID-19 data from the Lancet study, the findings are even less reassuring. Dr. Sapin Desai, no. United States of America, World Hospital Congress, Iceberg Events, oh my Retreat God. the 3rd of June 2020. Sapin Desai, MD, P Wait till they hear about this at the COVID Select Committee. Wow, this will really shock him. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. COVID Select Committee should issue a star, a very stern letter to this hydroxychloroquine canceling company because that would have saved millions of lives. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020.
Sapin Desai, MD, PhD, MBA as President and Chief Executive Officer of the Surgisphere Corporation, a medical education and healthcare data analytics company with hundreds of clients around the world. He has held multiple physician leadership roles in clinical practice, including serving as the Vice Chairman for Research at Southern Illinois University, Director of Quality at Memorial Medical Center, and Director of Performance Improvement at Northwest Community Hospital. Dr. Desai is a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and a certified professional in healthcare quality. Oh, well, he's got karate. He is the recipient of the International so Grand Prize in Healthcare scientist. Quality by the International Hospital Federation in 2015. Cervic, Kelly, Answering, Martin, the 5th of June 2020. The pandemic's first major research scandal erupts. Science, Volume 368, Number 6495. PP 1041-1042 DOI 10.1126 Science.368.6495.1041 ISSN 0036-8075 PMID 32,499,418 Retrieved the 7th of July 2020 Zeta says, AL the 27th of May 2020 Surgisphere's COVID-19 tools are deadly fraud. Retrieved the 7th of July 2020. Hopkins, Jared S. Gold, Russell the 11th of June 2020. The big data mystery behind retracted COVID-19 studies of hydroxychloroquine, other drugs. Wall Street Journal, retrieved the 17th of June 2020. Hourmole, Sarah the 16th of June 2020. Hydroxychloroquine is out. Politico. Retrieved the 17th of June 2020. Offered, Catherine, the 30th of May 2020. Disputed hydroxychloroquine study brings scrutiny to Surgisphere. The Scientist magazine. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. James Watson, a senior scientist at the Mahidol Oxford Tropical Medicine Research Unit in Thailand, says he has doubts that any research organization would have been able to obtain such. I hear this hydroxychloroquine, it's only six cents a pill. Nobody would have made anything on that. It's no longer under any patents, along with ivermectin. Retrieved wow. the 3rd of June 2020. The pharmaceutical companies James would have Watson, made no money. James a senior scientist at the Mahidol Oxford Tropical Medicine Research Unit in Thailand, says he has doubts that any research organization would have, would have been able to, to obtain such detailed records for so Pfizer. many people in Africa so quickly. Brought to you by Pfizer. He outlined this and concerns about multiple ABC. other aspects of the study Brought in the open letter, Pfizer. which includes 17 CBS. signatories based at Brought institutions in Africa. James Watson at jwato underscore Watson, Brought May 27, 2020. As you might expect, it's a different story. Conclusion, a prediction tool that is basically just linear regression and estimates age-dependent mortality that conflicts with a very large and reliable, we know where the data came from. Study, wonderful AI ML companies. 6N tweet <laughs> via Twitter. Wow. Offered, Catherine, the 7th of June, 2020. Surgisphere fallout hits African nonprofits COVID-19 efforts. The Scientist no. magazine, retrieved the 19th of June 2020. Cervic, Kelly, answering, Martin, the 2nd of June 2020. A mysterious company's coronavirus papers in top medical journals may be unraveling. Science, AAAS, retrieved June 3rd, 2020. Oh, that's Will, just Derek, the 11th of May 2020. What's up with ivermectin? Science.com. Retrieved the, the 4th AI of June works. 2020. Pillar, Charles, Cervic, Kelly, the 4th of June 2020. Two elite medical journals retract coronavirus papers over data integrity questions. Science. Retrieved the 5th of June 2020. Surgisphere sows confusion about another unproven COVID-19. Now, if the New England Journal of Medicine and the Lancet canceled their studies on a drug that could have cured COVID-19, that would mean that they have no legitimacy at all. So this must be fake news. Retrieved the 5th of June 2020. Surgisphere sows confusion about another unproven COVID-19 drug. The Scientist magazine, the 16th of June 2020.
Retrieved the 9th of July 2020. Lancet, NEJM retracts Surgisphere studies on COVID-19 patients. The Scientist magazine. Retrieved oh, the 23rd of July 2021. Lost Mera, all Mr. Desai, SS, Rushitska, F. The Patel, New England Journal AM, of Medicine May 2020. lost all credibility. Hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine with or without a news. macrolide for treatment of COVID-19. A multinational registry announced. Do you know what's really bad news? 20 million people dying worldwide from COVID when there was a maybe a possible cure. But that would be a conspiracy theory. That would mean the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies could have foregone the profit and cured all humanity. Instead, they went with the vaccine that is safe and effective. Ha! 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 Hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine with or without a macrolide for treatment of COVID-19, a multinational registry analysis. Lancet, DOI, 10.1016SL140-6736-203118L6. PMC 7255293. PMID 150107. Lay source retracted. C1 Davy, Melissa, Kirch Gaysner, Stephanie, Bosley, Sarah, the 3rd of June 2020. Governments and WHO changed COVID-19 policy based on suspect data from tiny U.S. company. Guardian, retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. Pillar, Charles, the 8th of June 2020. Who's to blame? These three scientists are at the heart of the Surgisphere COVID-19 scandal. Science AAAS. Retrieved the 23rd of July 2021. Was the Surgisphere case a one-off, or does it highlight the bigger systemic problem of research fraud? Transparency International UK. Fraud. Retrieved the 23rd of July 2021. No Could the Surgisphere retractions debacle happen again? Medscape. Retrieved the 23rd of July 2021. Well, baby, if nobody goes to jail. Surgisphere data used in two COVID studies called into question. The 3rd of June 2020. Retrieved the 23rd of July 2021. Mera, MR, Desai, SS, Rushitska, F, Patel, AN, 2020. Pub Peer, Hydroxychloroquine or Chloroquine with or without a macrolid. Lancet, DOI, 10.1016 per second 140 6 ISSN 140-6736. PMC 7,255,293. PMID 32,456,193. Lay source retracted. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. Gelman, Andrew, the 24th of May 2020. Doubts about that article claiming that hydroxychloroquine, chloroquine is killing people, statistical modeling, causal inference, and social science. Statmodeling.stat.columbia.edu. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. Gelman, Andrew, the 25th of May 2020. Hydroxychloroquine update. Statistical modeling, causal inference, and social science. Statmodeling.stat.columbia.edu. Retrieved the 3rd of June 2020. James Watson on the behalf of 201 signatories, 2020. An open letter to Mara et al. and The Lancet. Zenado, Doi. 10.5281, Zenodo.3871094. Retrieved the 5th of June 2020. Roni Karen Raven, the 29th of May. That would be a terrible thing to happen if this actually did happen. But that would probably be a conspiracy theory. Because that would mean that drugs that work, that would have cured COVID, like ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine, it only cost a couple pennies a pill. Now, if they went with the other stuff that made the pharmaceutical companies billions and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars, rather than save 20 million people, that would mean that these companies like Pfizer Pharmaceutical, who paid previously a $2.3 billion fine, that would mean that they're really actually evil people that work in big pharma. Roni Karen Rabin, the 29th of May 2020. 
And I want to just say that that's a conspiracy theory. I'm sure that the pharmaceutical companies are totally legit and ethical. Ha, ha, ha. Romy Karin Rabin, the 29th of May, 2020. Scientists question validity of major hydroxychloroquine study. The New York Times. More Retrieved scientists the 3rd at of New York June, Times. 2020. The experts who wrote The Lancet also criticized the study's methodology and the author's refusal to identify any of the hospitals that contributed patient data, or to name the countries where they were located. The company that owns the database is Surgisphere, based in Chicago. The Lancet editors, the 3rd of June 2020. Expression of concern. Hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine with or without a macrolide for treatment of COVID-19, a multinational registry analysis. The Lancet, 395 E102. DOI, 10.1016-SO140-6736-2031290-3. PMC 7,269,709. PMID 32,504,543. Site journal last one equals has generic name, help, Ruben MD, PhD. Eric J., the 2nd of June 2020. Expression of concern. Mara Mr. et al. Cardiovascular disease, drug therapy, and mortality in COVID-19. New England Journal of Medicine. 382 25 2464 DOI 10.1056 NEMA 2020822. PMC 7269012. PMID 32,484,612. S2CID 219,174,075. Mara Mr. Rushitska F. Patel A.N. June 2020. Retraction. Hydroxychloroquine. Let's take a look at that website, see if it's there. This is crazy. Well, there's their website. Oh no, it's gone. It has been excluded. How did that happen? And here's the website for Surgisphere. Oh no, Mr. Bill. It's also gone. It no longer exists. How could that happen? Well, I'm sure it's just a conspiracy theory that this company is not legit. And all those publications who've been writing about this are completely wrong. Let's just check out one. CQ paper in the Lancet uses fake data. Good news. Early outpatient treatment of symptomatic. High-risk COVID-19 patients that should be ramped up immediately is key to the pandemic crisis. Harvey A. Risch, May 27, 2020, American Journal of Epidemiology. Five studies, including two controlled clinical trials, have demonstrated significant major outpatient treatment efficacy. Hydroxychloroquine plus azithromycin has been used as standard of care in more than 300,000 older adults with multicomorbidities with estimated proportion diagnosed with cardiac arrhythmias attributable to the medication's 47 100,000 users. These medications need to be widely available and promoted immediately for physicians to prescribe. The rest of the post discusses a fraudulent paper, hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine with or without a macrolide for treatment of COVID-19, a multinational registry analysis, Mara et al., May 22, 2020, The Lancet based on Surgisphere's fake data, retracted on June 4, 2020. Surgisphere Corporation is fraud. Some of its services are being used for COVID-19 diagnostics and or clinical decisions. Quartz Clinical, COVID-19 decision support tools, rapid triage, severity scoring, diagnosis, mortality risk, surgical outcomes collaborative analytics platform. This anti-HCQ Lancet paper claims, we included all patients hospitalized between December 20, 2019, and April 14, 2020, at hospitals participating in the registry, with COVID-19 and records of death or discharge. 
671 hospitals from six continents allegedly provided their data for this database. The U.S. hospitals were allegedly selected to match the epidemiological characteristics of the U.S. population. In this great database, the authors have found 96,032 hospitalized patients with COVID-19, including 14,888 treated with HCQ or CQ with either azithromycin, AZM, or clarithromycin. At this point, one would ask, who has a database with detailed information on 96,000 patients? What about privacy laws? What about network security and data compatibility? Is Surgisphere a three-letter agency with such unrestricted global access? No, this is a one-man fraud. Paper's second author is the man. There is no patient's database and any raw data was fabricated or did not exist at all. Some of the many mysteries in the alleged data. The population data is very homogeneous, almost the same across the six continents, this is highly unlikely. For example, the patients with QSOFA less than 1 air 82.6% in Europe and North America, what a coincidence, and 82.7% in South America, table S3. The study data shows only 42% of patients, 6,221 out of 14,888, in the treatment groups received HCQ+, macrolide. However, it is widely known that almost all people treated with HCQ or CQ received HCQ plus AZM. In the study data for North America, 35% of patients, 3,415, received CQ and 65% of patients, 6,462, received HCQ. However, it is widely known that, outside of China, CQ was used significantly less than HCQ. The actual ratio is closer to 1, 99 than to 35, 65. All patients treated with CQ, HCQ received antibiotics, almost always AZM. In the study, 32% of the North American patients received no, microlide, appendix, table S3. Do peer reviewers really believe that almost a third of patients hospitalized with respiratory infection received immunosuppressives without antibiotics? Tweets from an Australian MD and PhD helped explain some of the mystery. Not only is the data fake, but the database itself, Surgical Outcomes Collaborative, is fake as well. Here are some of the many red flags. The study says that they received data from 600 hospitals up to mid-April, and it was published end May. This is impossible. If you have ever collected clinical research data you will know how impossible it is. You need ethical approval, suitable web servers set up, access set up for each hospital, and ideally each worker. This is what the authors say happened, they say they questioned existing repositories. I'm sorry but these don't exist. Repositories do exist that maintain some of this data but it is mostly unlinked, relies on it being filled incorrectly and exists on different systems that don't talk to each other. For each hospital system providing access you have to go through a complex ethics approval system, otherwise your hospital has just given your personal data to some strangers. An ethics approval of this magnitude would take months but it would take even longer to get the system up and running to allow secure access to hospital data systems externally. It just does not happen. The thread continues. The doctor takes note that the patient's data matches almost perfectly, on 23 factors. This is pretty much statistically impossible, and they are claiming that they got this matching in 7,000 patients out of a pool of 96,000 patients for which they received high-quality information from 671 hospitals. Nope, sorry, the data is too clean. And so, this group are telling us that, not only have they got access to 671 hospital clinical record systems but, and this is a problem. They have access to all the pathology provi- We'll see how much longer this goes on. Nah, it goes on and on and on. Okay, so it's almost done. They have access to all the pathology providers linked to those 671 hospitals and they can data link the patient records. Not a chance. 
This didn't happen, and if it did it would be a massive privacy scandal. There would be serious financial and potentially criminal repercussions. So, either this data is completely fabricated or the authors have been able to overcome impossible hurdles of data sharing and probably broken a number of laws in the process. Surgisphere has only a few employees, hired since February 2020. They did not overcome any hurdles. This Lancet paper also heavily promotes Surgical Outcomes Collaborative, the fake database from which the data has been obtained. The Collaborative is owned by the Surgisphere Corporation. Sapin S. Desai, one of the paper's authors, is a Surgisphere founder, disclosed, and CEO, not disclosed. The Collaborative, which was unknown before May 2020, is mentioned by name seven times in the paper. Two paragraphs, approximately 500 words, are used as collaborative advertisement, a cloud-based healthcare data analytics platform that includes specific modules for data acquisition, data warehousing, data analytics. A manual data entry process is used for quality assurance and validation to ensure that key missing values are kept to a minimum. Ensures compliance with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, guidance on real-world evidence. Well, that solves it. The vaccines are completely safe and effective. And I have to say that because this is going up on YouTube. And the WHO tells YouTube what I can and can't say. So you have to use your own Spock type logic and hopefully they will pay for their crimes against humanity if we could get the COVID select committee to do their job and investigate Surgisphere and whoever three letter agencies or Bill Gates type characters paid this company and all involved will face the paper for what they had done.